Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Cocktails with Adrian for a new episode of the 12 Bottle Bar. Before we start mixing our drink, I wanted to tell you, I started this channel because I want to create a community of people for them to exchange ideas, recipes, technique, anything, talk about products. That's why I created this channel. So if you have questions, if you have ideas, if you have recipe, please share them in the comment. I would love to try your recipe that you make at home. And as well, if you enjoy those videos, give them a like. And if you're not subscribed yet, you can subscribe down here. It's free and it helps the video getting more exposure on YouTube. So now, enough with the talk. You know what to do. Let's get mixing. The Boulevardier recipe appeared first in print in 1927 in the Barflies cocktail book of Harry McElones. McElones was the owner of Harry's New York bar in Paris during the 1920s and he credits the creation of the drink to one of his regular, a man called Eskrin Gwyn, which was a socialite and an American expatriated in Paris that ran as well a literary magazine called Boulevardier. Now, when I did the research for this drink, like I always do for any cocktail, the books you see behind me aren't just for show, I actually read them. I found that there is two different recipes across the board. One calling for bourbon, the other one for rye. The original is made with bourbon and I tried it with rye whiskey. It's very nice. I like it too. I just prefer it with bourbon. And the other slight difference that I found in some recipes, most of them call for two parts of the main spirits and a part each of vermouth and bitter. I prefer it that way. You, you will find a few recipes that call for the same template as the Negroni, which is equal parts of each. So now, to make our delicious Boulevardier, it's a stirred down drink, so you can mix it straight away in the glass. You're gonna serve it in on a nice cube of ice, or at least plenty of ice. If you don't make your ice at home, you don't have big cubes, never be cheap on the ice, because if you put less ice, it's gonna dilute faster and not get as cold quicker, and it's gonna ruin your drink. So we're gonna start with our bitter. Campari, 25 ml of Campari. Then we have a vermouth, Belsis are red in this case. 25 ml of sweet vermouth. And last but not least, all main spirits, bourbon in this case. 50 ml of bourbon. And now we're just gonna add some ice to our drink and stir it down to get it nice and cold and get that very important dilution we talked about in the Negroni episode. So let's get stirring. You want to get that temperature down and that water in the drink to make it really pleasant. And what you can do, you can make the experience. Dilution should yield approximately 20% extra volume in your drink. So here we should have 120 ml total resulting drink. Once you get that all important dilution in your drink, ah, this is beautiful. Once you've made your drink and you see how much you yield, you can pre-make it. You can combine all the ingredients and combine them with just water instead of having to stir. And then you can keep it in the fridge fresh and ready to serve. That's beautiful. It's excellent. And you don't have to do any stirring, any measuring. You can just pour it down in your glass. And we pour it down on our beautiful clear ice cube. If you haven't done it yet, check out my clear ice video to learn how to make those beautiful clear ice cubes. And the last touch, you could just cut an orange zest and express the oil on top. It would be absolutely delicious. But what I love to do for a Boulevardier is cut an orange coin about this size. And then we're gonna flame the zest with a match, really important. Do not use a lighter as the lighter is 
propelled by butane and if you flame with a lighter you're gonna put liquid butane in your drink something you do not want <laughs> and as you can see there it is and there you have it guys the delicious boulevardier thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video once again please if you have any question or suggestion or cocktail you want to see get involved in the comment give a like to the video share it with your friends and i'll see you next time cheers <laughs>